Hi, welcome to Life Coaching with Gail on Radio Kidnappers, Voice of Hawke's Bay. I am a noetic scientist, tarot reader, psychic, clairvoyant, uh, medium, all those things. I work a lot in the uh, spiritual field doing teaching and if any of you are seeking or searching for more meaning in your life, for the reason for things that are happening in your life, then contact me on 027 4166 545 and we can set up an individual session, either face to face or video, phone, um, video messenger, phone, <laughs> there's other ways, all these things. Okay, so we're in October people. So I hope you're travelling well. Um, I, I know that you may actually be feeling a little bit like um, on the downside of things um, recently. There's been some energies that are a bit heavy and still a little bit through October. Uh, just maybe making you feel a little bit more tired, a bit more deflated or defeated, a little hopeless. Sounds a bit dreary. Um, it will pass and it will pass this month, by the way. So if you've been struggling a little bit and not really being able to freely do the things you want to do in your life, it's because of the planets, call it the planets, the energies around you. It's not you, it's a phase. What I will say though is that in the last, um, well since the beginning of October, there has been a kind of a message to you to uh, remember and repeat so remember your life 10 years ago um, 20 years ago 30 years ago say the 10 year cycles the remembering of those times in your life will bring up all kinds of leftover feelings that haven't been dealt with and uh yeah, remember where you are now. Look from where you've come from and remember where you are now. If you were in a really good place 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, what were those ingredients in your life? What was happening in your life? How are you thinking? How are you approaching life? And just incorporate those into those difficult moments and those difficult times. If you are having them, you might just be, I am so happy. Wonderful if you are, really wonderful. Because the energies have these big flares, flashes of um, high optimism as well that rush through this month. I think I was sitting there a few days ago and I felt this, I'd been feeling really odd and down because I'd had people pass away around me and it had, it's just been like a time a little bit like that with um, endings and beginnings for people. And then I got this little feeling of excitement. It was like a little butterfly flutter and it went really quickly and I tried to hold on to it, but um, it was there and I thought, aha. So anything that's a little bit nice or a little bit lighter in your life or a little bit optimistic if you have been struggling, um, just hold on to that as long as you can. Just know that that is the signal that more is coming and this is the month that things change around. So good news is whatever your life has been like, things will change around and change in a different way. So if you've been down, the only way is up, as, as my parents would say. And this is temporary. If you're struggling in a relationship and you're not actually feeling heard or if you're not feeling like you are able to have the freedoms that you would like to have, um, check in with yourself. Is it you holding yourself back? Is it you stopping yourself from having that sense of identity and freedom in your relationship or is it really your situation and the structure of your relationship situation? Um, communication this month will be a bit off and maybe a bit disjointed and maybe, um, I mean I left my phone at home this morning, like what's that about? You know, our phones go everywhere with us and I didn't even realise until I left home that um, I didn't have it. So that's communication. That's a lot of my communication is via my phone. Communication and relationships, please avoid saying stuff that will be, um, that will present difficulties later or be a bit like harmful or hurtful. Please, please just until 
the last week in October, hold your tongue a little. <laughs> Have to do it myself, just saying. So we're October and without further um, mucking around, let's have a little look at what the cards have for you in October. So blank slate and being curious and knowing that this is a very individualistic month for you. This is a double kind of a dual system within you. It is you pretty much making a stand, being sure about who you are, about what you want and then actually doing something about it to reinforce that to yourself and then it's about that inside of you that inner you that's the one that's the doubter or the or the procrastinator or the whatever and and looking at what's really um the problem like what what really is the solution even like really looking deep into yourself and letting yourself process so you've got two two sides of yourself working full time this month um, hopefully in sync with each other and hopefully in unison. <sighs> okay. Uh, just a quick wee tribute to any of you who um, knew Chi from Wakatu. He was the um, kind of like matriarch and a uh, patriarch in some ways of Wakatu and his wife the matriarch that's how I see them they were the hub of Wakatu, Wakatu Dairy, Wakatu Hall, Wakatu community so involved in that community and love and uh, prayers go with Chi who passed uh, last week peacefully and he's done his work so for all of the, you that um, knew him um, have a nice thought for him and now we're going to look at October for you so if I look at you and if I had a, have a look at what's going on for you and this is general we, we know it's general because there's, there's a lot of people out there but this will hopefully have some significant meaning for you in your personal lives that will help you in your personal lives this month getting through this month We've seen some optimism and some possibilities for this month. What's that going to look like? <laughs> we, um, so, so there are changes. Um, we've had a lot of months where there have been changes, but look at the fact that there have been a lot of changes since last year. The whole world has changed. Everything in your life has changed and changing. And it has to happen... It has to happen gradually. We have to get used to wearing masks. We have to get used to following rules. We have to get used to this kind of thing to be able to live and move, move and breathe and communicate with each other. So a lot of changes have taken place. A lot still are happening and are in the flux of changing. We're getting used to things. There is, though, some good luck this month and... I'm just trying to remember because I think maybe there might have been some last month, I can't remember, but it just seems to be that I'm feeling it coming off the end of September that there are lucky situations or circumstances. You might just find yourself in a place where um, something kind of magical happens and it can be in any area of your life or your relationship or for your personal life if you're just been going, I'm just looking for something for me, you know, I'm looking for my purpose actually I'm looking for feeling a little bit more like I'm in the flow rather than just fighting all the time and struggling to get through and being tired because there's so much to do some lucky situation circumstance or person that crosses your path this month will happen for you and it is it is a certainty it is something that you will recognize straight away, but it is something that is a signal to each and every one of you that things are moving forward in your life. They're going up, they're improving, they're getting better. And I don't know, there's an optimism that comes with that as well. So all kinds of luck. Someone's going to be lucky this month anyway with Lotto. <laughs> That'd be nice. I'll go for that. <laughs> so let's look at another card for October. I am going to expand on the cards, by the way. So the, the um, oh, that was the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, I forget to say it. Um, so that's the Wheel of Fortune, and I will expand on that one as soon as I've done the others. 
So the next, the next message for you for October, the next message that can help inspire or um, bring you joy. What is happening in October for you? Let's look, okay? <laughs> Love it. See that? That's the magician, right? That means you, my people, you are a magician. Everyone's got an, a magician inside them. It can be called the wizard. And the wizard is the learned one, the knowledgeable one. The wizard is, has wisdom. The wizard knows all. And the wizard is in line with every aspect of creation and the energy of creation. And we are, have all that inside us. So if you've ever put out there for something that you want, let's say wish and desire, we've used those words last month because those are the power words for creating and attracting what you want into your life. And I know, I get it. Look, I say this every time. I get it. You ask and it doesn't happen. Okay? Look at what did happen in place of that. I had something this morning that was, it was, and this is the discommunication thing, but it was something that was like, um, I saw a bank that is like a credit union, not a bank, as I was walking here today, and I was like, oh, I could just go and check up and see, you know, what money I've got in there. Can do that, that'll fill time. I had a lot of time to fill. And of course, all the writing's on the building, but they're not there. So almost but not quite the building had um, closed down so they had moved off somewhere and there was something else in that building and the rest of it was shuttered off so that's the mis that's the kind of like communication flow not flowing as well that's like it was there well that's a good idea mm, nah so if you feel like the universe is giving you a little bit of that but not quite what you're asking for um Something's going on with you inside. Either your requests are not clear or you're kind of um, in an emotional, could it happen, will it happen, or just feeling down um, and disconnected means that it may not flow and come exactly as you want, but it's a good sign. If you even get a little glimmer, it's a good sign and it's like, okay, so adjustment of attitude, adjustment of focus, and let's try again. This magician card is saying that there are some changes you can make in your life right now that are in line with what you are wanting to happen. You just have to put your best foot forward. You just have to kind of put the effort in. And I mean, I can always look at myself seriously. Um, like with your work or if you're thinking about doing something that's um i don't know a bit new or a bit kind of different to what you were doing before like for me it was coming on the radio okay that was years and years ago and then it was doing the youtube and then it's like there's i could be doing other things i have not done that so look at ways that you're holding yourself back restricting yourself Okay, because, you know, number one, I'm here, I do that all the time. The magician card is saying, though, all you have to do um, is just start, just do a little something, and then other things will kind of go ding, 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 and fall into place, okay? This is, this is use your willpower, make yourself, even if you just don't want to get out of bed in the morning. My mother told me that for years, and I knew this about my mother, there were five of us children, and my mother... No matter how bad and down she felt, she made her, and she was, she got really down, she made herself get out of bed and get dressed. That was the one thing she did. To this day, she still does that, no matter how bad she feels. Just get out of bed, just get dressed. Five children, we needed her. And, um, but that was her one thing. Just get out of bed, get dressed. The rest takes care of itself. This is a long way further than that, though. This is... 
you have the ability this month simply by doing what you want to do in the direction that you want to take it um, changing your life changing the direction of your life perhaps but changing the theme of your life for some people life's been really hard and a struggle and confusing perhaps because of all of these changes that are going around on the world so now it's like just do something one solid thing one thing that you can go this is mine this is this is this belongs to me this is a me month again do you know um it goes along with what we were saying before you don't have to go and learn anything. This is not a go learn card. This is you already have every skill, natural ability, uh, whether you know it or not, or um, study ability. Put it to some use. So anything you've studied in the past or learned about in the past, it's like try and see how you could compile it, composite it. Right, let's have a look and see what else. So that's a, it's kind of like a magic month. It's like magic can happen and it can astound you. It can change in a day like that your life can change in a day so we'll have a little um, I'm just trying to get those cards separated we'll have a little I've bought some of a tree with me it's bark with the flower probably October so what is there anything that um, you need to know that is important in your life this month in October anything that will um, that you need to notice or that you need to take care of um, I can say definitely yes you need to take care of and tie off loose ends you need to look back on your life in those areas of um, this is finalization so like even if you come to terms with something, put it to rest. This is a good month to do that. The best month is, is December, but this is the month where you start to, yeah, look at the promise. Put those things behind you and go, well, what else? So what else is there for me? Let's um, look at what it is that you need to know for October. What do you need to know for October? Relationships matter, and I'm not just talking about intimate relationships. Relationships are on the cards for those of you who are not in a relationship um, this month. This is the lover's card. This is the relationship card. If you put all of the cards together, there are changes that you can make to have a relationship improve, um, initiate, to be happy, Whatever change you want in a relationship this month, you can make it happen. And there is um, something I was going to talk to you about that with relationships, and that is that the tendency this month is miscommunication, is the person not hearing what you're saying, or you saying it without saying it nicely, or if it, 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 it can just come out wrong. It can just come out wrong, so be careful of that because it's only for the, for the month, probably till the last week of October, so just um, see how that goes. So I want to have a little look. So we've got changes. We've got your um, the power you have this month in making your life the way you want it is right there at your fingertips. And especially... In the case of relationships now relationships are with the person in the dairy be nice um, I've heard a couple of people say that they've rung like a dentist or a whatever just an example and the receptionist has been had a real attitude they've been really not nice some people have walked away um, that is not your fault that is the influences of the month of the planets of mercury and retrograde because it's going backwards then communication is not going to flow and be and communications in all forms but especially speaking so if you um, are kind in your speak uh, this month and tolerant of those who are frustrated underneath there's a lot of frustration underneath all right so it just makes it easier for you actually so the changes, I want to look a little bit more on 
what those changes might be as well. I know we've got relationships. I know we've got in any way in your life. So let's just have a quick look because I've yabbled for too long. I'm so sorry. Oh, and there's the relationship card. So there are changes in, in relationships that have not been working out well, that have been a little bit dysfunctional. It fell on the floor, so I'm just looking at it. Um, and those changes mean that there can be a coming together by the end of the month, uh, better communication. So um, rather than saying stuff and spoiling things and making a difficult situation, kind of just um, chill, calm, bite your tongue. Saying in from, from the oldies, bite your tongue. It, it, it helps, seriously, I have to do that. Like seriously, I have to do that at the moment. And sometimes it splurges out, but you can always backpedal and you can always say something different. So anything else about the changes and the posit uh, positive changes that can come out for you this month? So if you haven't been sleeping or if you've been feeling unwell or, or just distressed or just, I don't know, you know, all horrible in the side, um, that will change this month. There will be changes that will create a little bit of excitement and um, there'll be occasions that you can go to, little social events that'll just um, lift your spirits a little bit. And you will start to even, it's like you'll start to feel satisfied in some of the things that you've been doing, even though you haven't really seen the outcomes the way you want them to. They will come, by the way. Um, you'll just feel a little bit more satisfied and knowing well I've done everything I can and you know that is perfect for manifesting because that is let go let it happen so on that note lovely people because I am you know been waffling a bit I'll just have a quick look see if there's anything that I was going to say that I haven't said and and I look at things and then I don't remember them um share yeah so are you really being and doing you? Question that. That's question number one. Are you really being you? Are you really then doing you? This is the month that you can make those changes. You are the magician. We know it's all about money and livelihood and everything else. There's a way. You can find the way, okay? Have a go. On that note, lovely people, Namaste if you want to have a one-on-one one -on -one session with me, 027 4166545. Take care.